Hi Pre-K students, today we're going to be creating our very own clay necklace. So you're going to be choosing a personal symbol that represents you and we are going to also add some clay beads to our work. So instead of these plastic and wooden beans, beads, yours are going to later be clay. So the first thing you're going to do is get a slab and now this is your second clay artwork. So you guys are doing really well with using clay so far this year. Your slab is very thin. We don't want to play with it. We want to treat it nicely like you have a nice piece of paper in front of you. It's a long, thin piece of clay. It's called a slab. You're now going to um, choose an imprint, uh, sorry, a texture for your slab. So you might also want to think now while you're sitting down, um, which symbol you want to sit near because if you think that you want to be a pilot when you grow up, maybe you choose an airplane. If you're a helping person, maybe you choose a helping hand. If you love fire trucks or you love um, the idea of being a firefighter when you're older, you might choose a fire truck. If you love sports, you might choose a baseball cap. If you feel like spring is your favorite season and you just love all the flowers and you want to pick an image that represents you. So I'm going to choose a plane because I love flying um, to different places and also love to be in the air looking down on the beautiful sunset and clouds and things like that. So I'm choosing a plane. Now when I'm picking my texture you might pick um, rocky texture, a floral flower texture, a wooden texture, but whatever you do choose, you're now going to pick it. You're going to press it down. You're going to press as hard as you can into your work. So you're going to take your slash, sorry, your imprinting texture tool and you're going to press as hard as you can to create that texture. Press, 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 press. Now I'm going to lift it up. And then I'm going to get my cookie cutter and I'm going to press it down as hard as I can again. Now we're not going to peel the cookie. We're leaving the cookie in there. I'm going to peel the extra away. So leave the cookie and peel the extra away. And then once you have this out, you can carefully gently pop it out. Now we're going to be walking around and putting your name in the back. That's important to be there. I'm going to write mine, Miss Olson. And we're also going to make sure, and we will help you do this. You don't need to do this part. I'm going to make sure that there's a hole for each part of your string to go into um, at the top. So we're going to help you do that. Now, once yours is finished, put it on the side for later. And... Oh, we can focus on the beads. So you're going to take a piece of clay, you're going to roll it into a small sphere. So that was a little too much clay, I broke it into half. About the size of your thumb. I'm going to make a sphere. You could also make a cylinder. So you could take a bead, roll it out, and make more of a cylinder out of it. Kind of like a marshmallow. You're going to take a pencil when you're ready. And you're going to poke it into the clay so that there's a big hole and you can lay those on the side. I'm going to take a piece, make another bead, put my pencil in. We'll see how it's going. You're either going to, we're going to try to see if we can keep your beads to make sure you get your own back or we're just going to make as many as we can and then we will match them up later. So just make as many beads with your own clay as you can. Stick a pencil in and try to smooth out the edges. These edges are a little bit rough. You can smooth them out with your finger and place it down. Roll it, stick a pencil in, get the hole nice and large. Make sure you can see through the hole. If it's not big enough, it's gonna close up and shrink and it will not allow us to beat it later. You wanna be able to see through that hole. And I'm going to do another one. I'm just going to make as many beads as we can. And then at the end of class, you will put these into the kiln. Um, once they are later in the dry, bone dry stage after leather hard, we will put it in the kiln and it will be bisque. And when you get it back, we will add our paint and glaze to it. So we will be making a necklace out of this personal symbol. Um, 
and I'm going to show you right now what your options are. We have a flower, we have a fire truck, we have a helping hand, we have a hat, we have an airplane. Think about what you want. You don't have to call it out. Just think about it. We have a bell. We have a star. We have a tulip. Another flower. We have a car. We have a palm tree or a shooting star, however you want to see it. We have a flower. I mean, sorry, a heart. Another heart. A moon. A football. A fire truck or another type of truck. A sun or a radial design of some sort a trophy, and a cowboy hat. So you can choose your own personal symbol and what it means about you. And last but not least, the airplane, of course. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful play day.